Hi everyone, I'm Cool Ace Makeup, and I'm gonna do a red, white, and blue makeup tutorial before it gets started. I did my brows, base with concealer, and my left eye off camera. All the makeup products that I'll be using will be all drugstore affordable, so please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And let's chit chat, let's get started. This color combo is perfect for 4th of July. Very patriotic. I'm Canadian. By the way, I can still celebrate 4th of July for my American viewers. On to the makeup. Brow primer. I took the hard kitty one. You know, drill when I wait for a stripe before I can do my left eye. The two palettes I'm using is Makeup Revolution X Tammy Tropical Carnival Palette. I'm not trying to blind you. I'm taking the bright red and the bright blue. The second palette that I'm using is the Color Institute palette. The ones with, like, all the neutrals plus black and white and blues. I'm not trying to blind you. I'm taking the navy, blue, and the white. I don't know if I might hit pan on these. Okay. The brushes I'm using are four from Best Stop, a crease brush, a wire lash line brush, an angled brush, and a small shader brush. To prevent fallout, I'm taking the excess of my Cody Air Spun, and I'm using a dry sponge from Dollar Tree, just to catch any fallout, because these palettes that I'm using today, they do have fallout. I noticed the navy blue, like, fallout on my hand. For the crease, I'm taking Trinan. The brush I'm using is the best tall fluffy crease brush. I don't know the name of it. The paper is somewhere in my room. And after I'm done filming this video, I'm going to take coconut oil to remove the eye look. I might go out, like soon with my mom who knows and originally i wanted to wear a red to the lip balm but i was like nah i might as well go like for a lipstick okay and i hope these colors do not stain my eyelids that uh, looks good once I have enough pigment, I'm going to blend it. The car speed arrow when I open my eyes. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, that looks good. And I love colorful eyeshadows for all year round. For the lower lash line, I'm taking Beck and All. The brush I'm using is this Best Chilp Small Apple Brush. This is a bright blue. It matches my eyes and my blue shirt. I'm going to blend it by taking the hand back. It looks okay with the powder. I'm going to have one more layer for the sake of this video. These are all American colors and that's what I'm doing today. Okay. For more wine, I'm taking Annabelle Cosmetics Coma Eyeliner in Pure White. I was originally going to use a blue eyeliner from Annabelle, but I was like, nah, I want to go with white because I'm almost out of my bright blue eyeliner. I hope this, this, I hope this does not mix baby blue. It's doing okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> For the outer corner, I'm taking the navy blue. The brush I'm using is this best taupe medium eyebrow brush to get some depth in there. You want to place the darkest eyeshadow on the outer corner to add some depth to the eyes. By the way, my eye shape is almond. If you are wondering, it looks good. It looks similar to like the American flag inspired makeup tutorial that I did two years ago. For the lid, I'm taking the white. The brush I'm using is this Best Taupe small shader brush. I was originally going to use my fingers, but I was like, nah, I want to make this look professional and use an eyeshadow brush. My eye is watering a little bit. And there is no bow on my face, so that's a good sign. I'm going to sweep away 
without using a kabuki brush from my boyfriend without disturbing the eye makeup. It looks good. For the inner corner, I'm taking the exact same white shade to bring lightness to the face. I'm going to apply some mascara to this side, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. Eyes are complete. The highlight the rest of my face. I'm taking hard candy. Fix my halo highlighter. It is a white highlighter. I don't know if this might show up on a full coverage concealer. It might. I cannot live without highlighter. It is the icing on the cake for me. And my go-to highlighter shade is white. Once I run out of the hard candy one, I wonder if they have another white highlighter at Walmart. Who knows? As I turn my head to the light, you can really see that sheen. Okay, that looks good. Let me get my stuff situated. For lip prep, I took Taste Beauty Pop-Tarts Blueberry Lip Balm. It came in an 8-pack from my twin brother, Evan. He got it at Winners. It's in toilet paper, so I will start some hydrated chaplets are not cute. I went for the blue one because it's more appropriate to line my lips and take an Annabelle Cosmetics lip liner and cherry. I'm gonna ignore my heater in the background. Fill in your lips best you could. The red lipstick that I'm choosing today is sort of sheer with a lip liner. Speaking about red lipstick, I'm taking Party City Red Lipstick, but any bright red lips lipstick will do at home. Here is the completed red, white, and blue make it tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. It kind of reminds me of the American flag inspired make it tutorial that he did back in 2022. It looks good. So stay tuned for more reviews and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.